Okay, good morning, students. Good morning. On the screen, we have a noun phrase. Noun phrase. Warm up. Identify the noun phrases. Identify the noun phrases. The old lady in the room, stand up. He comes here, our English teacher. Identify the noun phrases. Those of you listening to me and watching me live. Can I come with you today? Okay. Okay. Phrase. Phrase, as we can see here, is a group of words that does not make a complete idea. Noun phrase could be defined as a group of words that contains a noun and its modifiers or qualifiers. When we say modifiers or qualifiers, we're referring to some words or determiners that come before the noun, which will automatically give gives us noun phrase. Now, let's check the formation of noun phrase, how noun phrase can be formed. When you have an article, an, a, or the, coming before a noun, it's going to be referred to as a noun phrase. For example, we have the sentence, the boy has gone home. The boy is a noun phrase. The boy is a noun phrase. The noun is boy. The is an article. So if you see from the screen, we have the underlined group of words is a noun phrase. And take the next one, the next slide. We have article, the, adjective, brilliant, noun, boy. Then the noun phrase there is the brilliant boy. Put in a sentence, the brilliant boy won the quiz. So we check the underlined expression is a noun phrase. Then we'll take the next slide. have demonstrative adjective. These four words, this, that, these, and those, they all form demonstrative adjective. Now, they also come before a noun, either singular noun or plural noun. So we have the noun word there is teachers. The noun phrase, we have these and teachers together. These are these teachers. So put in a sentence, we have these teachers are great scholars. So these teachers is a good example of a noun phrase. So the first one we had, we had article plus a noun, gives us a noun phrase. We have demonstrative plus an adjective, gives us a noun phrase. Take another slide. Demonstrative adjective, those. Then the adjective is dedicated. Then the noun word.
the exceptional attribute about Mr. Degede has been discovered. The exceptional attribute about Mr. Degede has been discovered. You can see the underlying group of words is a noun phrase and it functions as subject of the verb has been discovered. The second one, the reason for the boy's failure is still unknown. The reason for the boy's failure is still unknown. This is also a noun phrase and it functions as subject of the verb is. It means that whenever we have a noun phrase coming before the final verb or the verb, we take it to be uh, the subject of the verb. Uh, is that clear? Then we have the second one, which is object of the verb. Object of the verb. Here, the noun phrase comes after the finite verb. And the object must be a receiver of the action that is performed by the subject. The girls mocked the man in white, in white shirt. The girls mocked the man in white shirt. You can see, mocked is a verb. So the man in white shirt is a noun phrase. The man in white shirt is a noun phrase. So we call this kind of noun phrase, or um, it functions as object of the verb mocked. The man in white shirt. So an action is being performed on the man. An action is being performed on the man. So the girls carried out the action, and the action is being performed on. Now, the second example, he killed the wild and had fighting elephants. He killed the wild and had fighting elephants. You can see a complex noun phrase here. The wild remove and had fighting. You could say he killed the elephant. You could also say he killed the wild elephant. You could also say he killed the had fighting elephant. You see, we could omit some words from this noun phrase. We could make it a very simple noun phrase. He killed the elephant. So article was the, the noun. This was the noun phrase. He killed the elephant. So the underlying expression is now and it functions as object of the verb killed. Hmm. Now, I want us to check this exercise out. Exercise. Write out the noun phrases and state the functions from the following sentences below. Write out the noun phrases and state the functions from the following sentences below. How can I communicate with them now? Or I can still communicate with them. They will disturb you. Okay. You should write down your answers. <laughs> write down your answers. Inside chat. Write down your answers in, in the chat. Write down your answers in the chat. Question one. Question one. Can I drag? How can I drag this? Yes. Okay. Okay. Question one. John ate a plate of rice. Oh, Faiza Gafa, to everyone, I don't understand anything. Okay, okay, I can't see the question. Is on the screen? I don't grab, because I couldn't hear on like a few minutes ago, okay. Oh, very good, a plate of rice. A plate of rice is a noun phrase. Arana, me too, a plate of rice. Jamal, a plate of rice, that's correct. That's correct, a plate of rice. Oh, you don't understand anything. Oh, sorry. Now, see if I just joined. All right. Um, so, I, okay. Caddy, a plate of rice is a noun phrase, exactly. So, I explain again. Oh, anyway. Maybe after this exercise, I'm going to explain again as a revision and summary. For what? The stubborn students. Wow. I've not gone to number two. I'm still on number one. Number one. A plate of rice, a plate of rice. Ganiru, that's correct. A plate of rice, a plate of rice. Farida, a plate of rice. Fawaz Bully, why? I don't grab. What? You are treating noun phrase. I just joined. All right. 
a plate of rice is. Question two, Mr. Gide punished the stubborn students. What is the noun phrase and what is the function? You're not giving me the function. Mr. Gide punished the students, the stubborn students. So the stubborn students, yeah, Kadi has given, given us the answer. The stubborn students is a noun phrase. What is its function? What is its function? If you mention it as a noun phrase, give us the function of the noun phrase. The stubborn student, anonymous. Why? Why should you name yourself anonymous? Ghani Alex, okay, that's correct. Ghani Alex, please, what is its function? What is the function of that noun phrase? What is it functioning as? Ganeru. Ganeru. Tamara Okonkwo. Go to number two. Tamara Okonkwo. Farida Bakri. Farida Bakri. What is the function of the stubborn students? Eniola, what is the function? No, it is telling us that. No, no, no. That's not the correct answer. What is the function? What is the function of the expression, the stubborn student, in that sentence? I've not seen anybody getting it right. Razak, why? Subject, Agbanog, subject, it's not the subject, it's the object of the verb punished. Object of the verb punished. No, it's coming after the verb punished. It's coming whenever it's coming after the verb punished, you take it to be object of the verb punished. Okay, let's take question three. Look at question three. That's I I I. John cut the big Iroko tree. John cut the big Iroko tree. So what's the what's the grammatical name of or just just write out the, the noun phrase. What are the noun phrase in question three? What is the noun phrase in question three? The big Iroko tree, Farida Bakri, that's correct. That's correct. The big Iroko tree, yes. The big Iroko tree, the big, Faizad Gafar, the big Iroko tree, Razak, the big Iroko tree, Fuhad, the big Iroko tree, correct. Gideon, the big Iroko tree. Ramos, who is Ramos? Arolu, the big Iroko tree. Oh, functioning as object of the, fun functioning as object of the, Arolu has given us the answer. The big Iroko tree is a noun phrase actually, and it functions as object of, of what? Tell us. The big Iroko tree is a noun phrase and it functions as object of Aisha. Aisha, tell us what it functions as. Say, Milade, tell us what it functions as. Object of the verb, correct. Faizad Gafar, you are the first person to get it right. That's correct. Thank you. Question four The dancing steps of the competitors attracted James. The dancing steps of the competitors attracted James. What is a noun phrase in number four? What is a noun phrase in number four? The dancing steps of the competitors attracted James. Okay, the chat. Okay. All right, we are number four. Sorry for that uh, broken transmission. Number four, the dancing steps of the competitors attracted James. 
the dancing steps of the competitors attracted James. What is the noun phrase? Write out the noun phrase. The dance steps of the com is the noun phrase, Araulua, beautiful. And it functions as subject of the verb attracted. Correct. Correct. All right, number five. Most of the students are ready to learn. What is the noun phrase there, Araulua? Okay, Sophia is also correct. The computers are attracted. No, no, Sophia is not correct. The dance steps. What about the article? Okay, the dance steps of the competitors. Now, let's go into number five. Number five, number five. Most of the students are ready to learn. What is the noun phrase there? Number five, number five. Most of the students are ready to learn. What is the noun phrase there? And what is its function? Most of the students, yes, that's correct. Most of the students, most of the students now for is yeah. Uh, Oseni, that's not correct. Your, your answer is not correct, Oseni. Folani, what are you saying? The subject of what? No, uh, star, star, you're not right, you're not correct. Aliyah Oseni, most of the students are okay. That is a noun phrase here. What's his function, Aliyah? Most of the students, yes. Double, subject of the verb. Of what? Subject of the verb what? Most of the students, most of the students. What's his function? What's his function? Subject of the verb. Mention the verb. Mention the verb. Subject of the verb, learn, no. Most of the students, no. Subject of the verb what? No clear answer yet. Subject of the verb are. That's correct. It functions as subject of the verb are. That's correct. All right. You all tried. You all tried. Let's take the next exercise. Filling the gaps with suitable noun phrases. Fill in the gaps with suitable noun phrases. Now, this is how we do it. Write out your answers, one to five. Write out the full sentences, one to five. I'll be seeing your, your response here on the chat pad. Write out the answers, questions one to five. Fill in the gaps. One, we are, we fill in everything there. Two, he is. I mean, fill in the gaps with suitable noun phrases. I believe you can see what is on the screen. We are not stubborn students. Okay, stubborn students, the noun phrase, correct? What is that? We are playing. Oh, playing is not a noun phrase. We are not, not average students is a noun phrase. We are the best student. Go see, that's beautiful. He is the worst teacher. Oh, for number two? All right. Hey, Milade, what are you saying? He is a playful boy. Is he not? So you know, you are right, he's a playful boy. Play, a playful boy is a noun phrase. We are not naughty students. Naughty students is a noun phrase. We are ready to meet the best. The best singer is a noun phrase. The class is a noun phrase. Playing football. Mm. No, 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 no. I won't take that, Araulu. I won't take that. A plate of rice. Kal Kalu bought a plate of rice. That's correct. <laughs> Stupid boy, all right. Manage it is an office. Best football player is an office. To work is an office. At a concert is an office. A madman is an office. Um, 
Very playful is not a noun phrase, please. Disobedient children is a noun phrase. Insane is not a noun phrase, it's just a word. A big red cup is a noun phrase. And, and handsome boy is a noun phrase. An intelligent boy is a noun phrase. Fat dog is a noun phrase. His mom's vase is a noun phrase. To play football is a noun phrase. A basket of fruit is a noun phrase. Yeah, you're, you're all trying. You're all trying. The glass window with the ball. Yeah, that's correct. It's now freeze. Some food is now freeze. Spoiled oranges is now freeze. Responsible man is now freeze. A stupid and ugly dog is now freeze. Your dog is not correct here, JP. The big house is now freeze. Tall giraffe is now freeze. Oh, we have good answers. Correct answers. Now, I still have some time. What do I do with my time? Yes, ma'am. I want to give them assignments. Okay, you are true. Right? I'm true. Okay, so what about? If... And you can interact with them, um, okay. boys. Okay. Then I will now come back to the assignment. Hello, Ramos. Ramos, what do you have to say? Ramos, nothing. Ramos. Hey, guys, you show why is the winner? Faisal Gafar, let's listen to you. Ramos. Yes, can I hear from you, Jama? Jama, I'm listening. Jama, I'm listening. Can I hear from you? Jama. So, why is it that? Why is it that? So, I'm listening. So why is it that you cannot put something like very plain as a now with a noun phrase as a noun phrase? Plain. What do you understand? What do you mean by plain? Very. Very. No, very is like not. Somebody said. Somebody said what? No, continue. Somebody said what? Nothing, nothing. Continue the explanation. No, in a, in a noun phrase, we have um, some modifiers or determiners or qualifiers that come before the noun. Whenever some of these words come before the noun, we term it to be, or we term them to be noun phrases. For example, you know what article means? You know what demonstrative adjective means? Whenever words come before a noun word, we call them uh, noun phrase. So, for example, I gave several, several examples on the on the in the presentation. They have the slow students. D is an article. Slow is an adjective, and students is a noun. So, the three words together will give us a noun phrase. Jamal, I following Uncle Six. Uncle Six, hello. Please, your question. 
Uncle Six, your question. We have lowered your hand. There's nobody here. All right, let me just leave my assignment. Now, these are assignments. I want you to work on these assignments. Work on these assignments. Write it down. Write out, write, write the eight sentences down and write out your noun phrases. So, our next class is going to be on Friday. The first thing on Friday is for me to check, uh, to give you the answers to these assignments. Write them down. Write these sentences down in your paper and write out the noun phrases in them. One, the best pupils are selected for the competition. If you have two noun phrases in the sentence, she gave me a bouquet of flowers. My lovely parents have traveled abroad. Our not little brother ate all the candies. We like some drinks. Cooking is my sister's favorite hobby. She won't kill the big goat. You must be our class captain. So I want to write down your answers. Want to eat? The now food is there. Enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.